I'm going to teach you how to program correctly. Uh, I was doing this for my friend. He took some introductory, or he took one introductory programming class, and he was telling me about it. And uh, I realized his teacher was not very good. Like his, he was getting taught incorrectly. I am a software developer. That is my job. I get paid to do this. I'm not some guy trying to like. I know what I'm doing. Okay, and I thought while I'm teaching him how to program, maybe some other people can benefit from it. And so I'll be streaming these. These will be free on Twitch and YouTube. So if you want to learn the basics of programming, this will be for you. It's going to be several videos. Why am I so loud? Uh, let's turn this down a little bit. There we go. It's going to be several videos, uh, and it's going to be geared towards very, very introductory topics. Okay, so if you've never programmed anything before and you want to learn, this is for you. If you've programmed a little bit, maybe you've messed around with some game scripting languages or something like that, if you've, if you've done a little bit of programming but you're not very good and you want to learn more, this is also for you. Um, probably the later videos, not the earlier ones. Um, this is not intended for advanced users. I will not be teaching anything really difficult. If you want to, you know, really go for it, um, then take college courses because there is a lot to learn in programming, software design, engineering, that kind of stuff. There's a lot to learn. I won't be teaching all of that. I'm just going to be teaching you basically how to write simple programs that do useful things. Um, and so to get started, we're going to have to set up your project. And to do that, you're going to go to Google, and you're going to Google NetBeans. This is the tool we're going to use. And uh, right under the first entry where it says, Welcome to NetBeans, there's this thing that says, Download NetBeans IDE. That's what you want. And you'll come to this page. You'll come to this page. Here we go. And this column on the left that says Java SE, this first column, this is what you want. This is free download right here. Right now it's 90 megabytes. Yours may vary. But you want Java SE NetBeans. So download that, install it, and run it. And when you do, uh, it's going to look something like this. There's not going to be much there. Okay, this is an IDE. It stands for Integrated Development Environment. It's basically Notepad, but with tons and tons more features. It's, it's a text editor designed specifically for programmers. Okay, so it does all kinds of cool stuff relating to creating code, editing code, uh, navigating through code, all kinds of stuff. And so to get started, you have to make a new project. A project is just one big collection of code that is basically one huge program. So we're going to right click on this panel on the top left that says projects. I believe it'll be on the top left for you hit new project it might say like project explorer but mine says projects and you'll see this window or something like it I'm using jmonkey engine actually it's not exactly NetBeans but it's built on top of NetBeans so the menus are pretty similar uh, so you want to create a new Java application just a plain old Java application none of that other fancy stuff and we're gonna name this one test project my keyboard's very loud forgive me all right, and when it's done, you'll have something that looks like this. These little comments may be different. You can get rid of them. These these things with the stars and the and the slashes and the gray text. I think it I think it's gray for you. You don't need any of these. This is what you need. You need this package at the top for whatever you named your project. You need public class, whatever you named your main class, and this public static void main thing. This is what you need to run a basic Java application. So in order to run code, you need to find a file with a main method in it. That's this guy. Just right click anywhere in the file and hit run file. And the shortcut here is shift F6, but yours may be a little different. I don't remember if I've changed any of mine. And what you should get, uh, this is not what I want. This guy has to go over here. Come on. Your console is probably at the bottom of the screen. Your, so your console, your screen probably looks more like this. So you should see build successful at the bottom, or something like that. I like having my console on the right. You can drag any of these windows anywhere, which is pretty cool. 
So this is what mine's going to look like. You can cu customize yours however you want. So to run a project, you right click anywhere in a file that has a main method and click run file. And it'll run it, and if there's any output, it'll print it out here. But we have no output right now because we're just setting up your project. Occasionally, we're going to need to make new Java classes. To do that, go up to the Project Explorer on the left again, go inside Source Packages, inside whatever package you're going to make. Actually, let's make a package first. A package is just like a folder. It's a folder of Java files. So just right-click on Source Packages, hit New uh, Java Package. It may not be on your menu. And just type whatever name you want. So uh, Test Package yeah, test package, hit finish, and you'll get a new package, but there's nothing in it. So let's add a file to it. Let's right click on that package, hit new, Java class. Java class is what, it's basically where all your code's going to go in a variety of Java classes. Class name, test, class. And hit finish, and you'll get, I don't know why it's on this side, let's put all the code in the middle you get something that looks kind of like this. It'll say package, test package, public class, test class, or whatever you named it. All right, so that's how you're going to create Java packages, create Java classes, and remember, if you want to run one of them, just right click and hit run, and your console will tell you everything you know, everything you want to know about whether it ran or not. So this was part zero and part one. I'm just going to go over some basic Java syntax. I'm going to tell you how to do very simple things. And we're going to write 